You know, there appears to be excitement, even if subdued, over the news that the Dangote Petroleum Refinery has slashed the price of automotive gas, gas oil, AGO, that's the diesel. Now, the refinery has announced a reduction in the price of the product from 1,200 per liter to 1,000 naira. The development is expected to positively affect all the spheres of the economy and ultimately reduce the high inflation rate in the country. It can only get better. I'm so excited can only get, get better. Very excited about it. It, it it's not that it, okay, you, it you will get diesel. better. Yes, I use diesel at home. Okay. I use a diesel generator. And the last time that I bought it was 1,650 per liter. Wow. 1,650 per liter. So when you cannot reduce it to 1,000 per liter, it's so it's very, very exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, it's still going to go down. Because the more they sell, the more they sell, and you have enough, there won't Supply. be any need yeah. for you to increase. Because it's produced here, and all the other bills about importation and, and mm. um, freight and all that is not there. And that won't say refinery have the capacity to supply and still export. And now that they've started, I'm excited. I'm just waiting for them because they plan to do this. Then, um, um, then later they will go to petrol. Petro. And I know that the same thing will happen when it comes to petrol. At least it yeah. will come down a little, even if it's not, it's not significant because this is sometimes buy mm. um, diesel with foreign exchange and all that. Though the government has said they will now start selling to them pay, that they have to pay now in Naira. Mm. They don't need to now use foreign, foreign yeah. exchange yeah. To, to pay. So I think that too will will be able to affect the price of other petroleum products significantly. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited about it. Yes, Gidi, the problem is now snowball effect. You expect when it comes down, not just diesel, diesel but related issues, if you understand me. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I expect the price to go down. Okay. Um, I Further? Uh, at 1,000 Naira, I'm not comfortable. Mm. I suspect that because I know that Dangote brought in crude oil from the U.S. Yeah. So because we could not supply him crude oil after the first uh, consignment that he received, you know, from uh, Yagbami um, oil uh, field we could not supply because of the forward sales that the okay. Buhari regime made. You know, they sold our crude oil in advance and collected money. So we could not supply whatever they produce. Mm. Right, as, as I had up to the end of June, whatever we produce, we are focusing on supplying to those clients who had paid us in advance. Yeah. So Dangote could not receive crude oil yeah. from us after the first um, consignment that he, released, that he received. Now he had to ship in crude oil, oil. Uh, from the U.S. As a result of that, the cost would definitely be higher. But if we can supply that refinery with crude oil, from the inside. From here. Mm. And having taken the decision earlier this week that they should pay that uh, they should pay the NMPC in Naira. We've said before that some of those charges in our country denominated in dollars, we should stop it. In the maritime sector, a lot of charges that you have to pay in dollars. Mm. Now you are complaining that there is extreme uh, appetite for the dollar in our country. People will first go and look for the dollars. Yeah. You know? Because, By any means. Yes. Now, since we said, okay, you, you can pay in Naira, the cost will definitely invariably go down. In fact, the marketers uh, are saying that it should go to between 700 and 850. They complained yeah. that it was too high at that time. And, and as far as they are concerned, there is no vessel cost, no import charges, and other costs associated with importation of the commodity. Now, because of that, they expect this to actually sell 
at between 700 and 850. And eight, okay. If we get to 850, I will be really, really excited because nothing has driven inflation as much as this mm. diesel cost. Yeah. The vehicles, the, the, the articulated vehicles, the other big trucks that bring in food from the north to the south mm. and from the south to the north, they use diesel. And generators they across use the diesel. country. Generators. They use diesel. And, mm. and the, the, the big companies, the manufacturing concerns, yeah. they are also reliant on diesel because we all know that public electricity supply has become a joke in our country. Yeah. We already six six uh, um, system failures, grid collapses in just four months. We've had six already. It's more than an average of one uh, grid collapse in a month. month. So flour mills and a lot of those big companies is, is diesel that they rely on. So if we can bring in, I mean, if we can bring down the cost of diesel, and I supported NLC when they demanded that VAT should be removed from diesel. So that I can help bring down the cost. That what he was right when he said, if diesel prices come down, that it will have a positive effect on the inflationary trend. I agree. A lot of things. You have this, uh, you, you go to the big uh, superstores, yeah. the malls and the rest of them. They are all using diesel. diesel. Because most of the time there is no light. You put people in band A, you barely give them six hours of electricity. There's no joke bigger than that. And you so, collect 225. Eh, you put them on band A, you cannot, okay. Uh, when, uh, I was supposed to be in band A. The other day, I don't it know what they down, are doing. We came down to 46 megawatts. And we want to be uh, billing people so much. We are charging people. You see, what the, the, uh, I have told the band A people to pay now mm. is higher than the U.S. average. So does it make sense for uh, electricity or your energy cost to be higher, higher in Nigeria than the U.S.? What are we talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Then it is, I don't know how people, you know, we were discussing before we came on here. Yeah. And I said, look, how do you expect people to pay an average of 240000 naira a month on electricity mm. in a neighborhood in Omoli that I stay, where you have retirees, you have civil mm. servants. Mm. You have people who are average Nigerians, and you expect them to be able to pay two hundred and forty thousand. Because prior to this time, our my energy bill per week was twenty thousand naira a week. Now it's sixty thousand naira a week. Mm. How do you want an average Nigerian to survive that? How they came up with that policy, I, I don't understand. No, it's, it's clear that uh, they believe that. With that, maybe investors will come in and all that. Because people had always felt that, look, there is no appropriate pricing, and that because of that, investors are not coming. The environment but is not there. But you, you no, know, is the the you know the 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 rate was not cost reflective. Okay. A situation in which you spend two hundred naira to generate electricity, to deliver electricity to the end consumers, and you actually get maybe. 150. So it's not cost no, reflective. No, no, it is not. And government continue to subsidize. And the subsidy, in the end, it wasn't benefiting the ordinary people. Because okay. all kinds of, if, if we are to talk about even the Jenkos, some of the, some of the uh, advantages, some of the benefits that we gave Jenkos, it can only happen in a country where people have simply been permitted to steal. Yeah. You know? But, Let's take uh, the AGO um, matter. Let's close it here. Um, I'm saying t from between now and June, yes. uh, after June, we, we expect something to change. Yes, once, you see, once the, we are through with the, those, the forward sales, Yes. We, the, our commitment to the, the forward sales that the last president and the last administration got into, we have to fulfill. We have to honor that obligation. Once we honor, if we finish honoring that obligation, we will earn more. Okay. Because we are unable to sell. That's you are it. producing now. The reason, the, what we are able to get now, what we are able to make now, is just because we have, we are producing more crude oil more now than doing. That's it. Baba Buhari. 
So that's the little that we are producing now. We are able to sell. Let me explain it this way. We are producing higher than the, uh, the, the daily output of that time. Okay. That the, the previous administration. That the, the previous administration then sold. So it's like, let's say they are producing 400,000 consistently. Barrels. Barrels a day. Mm. Now, they now sold in advance 400,000 barrels. Now, because we are able to produce more than that, okay. we are able to sell the little... The, 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 the extra. The excess. The mm. excess now. Mm. We are able to sell. That is what we are earning. We are not able to earn good money what, from crude oil. We are supposed to, to earn. Because what we should earn had already been pre-sold. Mm. So now, once we are through with that, we finish that um, uh, contract, they, we will be able to earn more. People don't know that we are not actually earning more because of that problem. We'll be able to earn more. And that will also affect uh, forest liquidity, you know, Okay. And, and um, in my view, the Naira should even appreciate once we are able yeah. to earn more. Yeah, Jide, you, you just talked about earning. Let's earn some money. We'll go on a break now. Uh, please stay with us. We'll be back shortly. Okay. I actually came to pay the money for the recruitment consultancy you did for my company. Uh, I took two million. I just hold on. <laughs> I now collect dollars. What? Yes. I don't understand what's happening to Naira these days. So, so it's going to be two million times today's exchange rate. Uh, 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 doctor, wait, wait. Doctor, wait. Don't tell me you are one of those people who directly put pressure on the Naira and make it lose its value. You want to dollarize our economy and yet you pretend as if you don't know what's happening to the Naira. I've told you about how you abuse the Naira by spraying and stamping on it during your occasions. To deface and abuse the Naira as if it's not our national asset. But you can't make it easy. How? I will not take this. And neither will the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission Task Force on Currency Abuse and Forex Malpractice. Take it easy with you. They are coming for you. Disease from economic sabotage. Or you will face the wrath of the law. Okay then, um, Mayor, quickly, uh, on a final note, the skirmish in the South uh, Middle East, you expect, would have affected the price of... of, of yes, the of, price of, will continue to go up, naturally, mm. and I, the, the, what it means is that, like we said, by, from July, when we start selling, when we can now collect money for everything that we sell, mm. we will be able to generate enough money, and that will, that will help us a lot. Uh, and and we'll also, see. if the government yeah. now starts supplying... Um, Dangote and the other modular refineries are um, crude paying in Naira, it will bring down the cost of yes, the yes. products. Because it's, the cost of production will it, have gone down. So gone yeah, down it's so a matter can, of yeah. time. And you know, I, I, I tell people, those who say ah, we are not producing, if Nigeria can do 2.5 million barrels a day, this whole Naira, I mean, dollar illiquidity oh, yes. will go. Okay. Yeah. Forget the fact that, okay, we are not uh, pro, uh, producing other things in good quantity. Okay. 2.5 2. million barrels a day. is something. Which we are supposed it, to do. It will really, something. yes. It we are something. not meeting our quota. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go to our next story. Talk uh, hardcore politics. 